Hey guys, so today I'm doing a video and I want to apologize if it isn't like the best because you are watching this, well I mean if you watch it the day it gets uploaded. I filmed this video literally today so it is like 6.30 right now, it's getting dark outside. I took a nap, I woke up, I was like oh my gosh, I have no videos pre-filmed to upload today. So took a shower, my hair is not dry yet, I feel gross and just like not cute. Anyway, today I'm doing a, another Tumblr questions video. I know I just did one but it was either do a Tumblr questions or a mini makeup collection and my literal last video was a mini makeup collection. So I figured I would do a Tumblr question today and I basically wrote down because like I went through a million different Tumblr questions guys and seriously look, okay. This one has 15. This goes to 30, then this starts over with 1, then this one reaches to 52, this one starts with 1, and this is still going, the same question thread, um, stops here at 77, this one starts still the same, still the same, and this one ends at 115. So girl, I wrote so many pages of Tumblr questions, so there's going to be hella Tumblr questions uploaded in the next like month or so but anyway I'm trying to upload like a lot a lot and I didn't have any videos pre-filmed to upload today so I was like girl I'm about to sit down film a video edit it and upload it today so this probably is going to be uploaded kind of late at night so I do apologize but it's 6 30 right now and I just started filming so that being said I'm going to get started I wrote down some Tumblr questions I don't know where my phone is oh shit I set it over here guys I literally have been looking for my phone for like 10 minutes and Oh my god. I know that he's going to watch this when I upload it tonight. And I don't know what you're talking about. Like, this is so irritating. This is so irritating. I have to literally stop my video while I'm filming because you accuse me of stupid shit. Alright, he knows who he is. Let's get started. So, some of these questions are really weird. And I do want to say with my Tumblr questions that I'm going to be uploading... Some of them, like with any other Q&A, a couple questions are going to be repetitive, so I don't want anyone to comment like, oh my god, you already answered this in this video, blah, 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 like, don't do that, that's annoying. Anyway, some of these questions are really weird, but this was the shortest one I have, this one has 30 questions, all the other ones have like 150, so I'm filming this and uploading it in the same day, so I chose the shorter one to save you guys, me being annoying and talking for... 40 minutes we'll go with like 20 instead of 40 so some of these questions are really weird like this specific question thread I think some of them are really weird but we're gonna do it anyway and if you are new here I do tell my questions because uh, Q&A's are extremely repetitive like there might be five new questions but pretty much Q&A's it's repetitive every single time because it's the majority of the same people asking questions. So I like to do Tumblr questions because they're deeper, they're more personal, they're more interesting to me, and we're best friends here, so I like to do the more like deep and personal questions. If you don't like it, don't watch it. We are going to finally get started, and this mother trucker is going to seriously chill out, because I know that he's watching this right now. I'm about to kill him. I'm literally about to catch a murder charge. Yep. Yeah, I'll be back. Tripping about Jake. Like, really? 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 My ex-boyfriend of like a year and a half ago. Okay. Okay. Again, apologizing for my hair because I just got out of the shower, so it's like... <clears throat> okay, anyway. Question number one. Choose being with your soulmate for a year and then they die or choosing not to meet them at all. And honestly... I would probably be with my soulmate for a year and then die because I would just do hella shit in that one year of my life and I don't know. Because the only thing is if you really do have one soulmate, like I was going to say you could fall in love with someone else eventually, it would take a really long time, but like if you chose not to meet them at all then you wouldn't even know that you haven't met them and you would like convince yourself that the person you end up marrying is your soulmate. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, number two. If a prisoner in jail wrote a letter to you, would you write them back? Honestly, it would probably depend, like, what they're in jail for. If they're, like, a murderer or a rapist. 
guys, I watch Law and Order religiously, so that's why I always, like, jump to that. So, if they were like that, no. If they were in there for, like, robbing a bank or something, yeah, I would probably write them back because... You know what I mean? Like, what are they going to do? Get out in two years and rob me? Like, what are they... What are they going to do? I don't know. They're probably really bored in there, so... Yeah, I would probably write them back, and it'd be kind of, like, interesting to just, like, talk to them about, like, what the hell they do in their daily life and just talk shit. I don't know. I would write them back. Um, if you could have a twin, would you? Eh, I don't know. I feel like that would be kind of cool to have someone that actually looks just like you, but at the same time, I don't know. Like, if you have a boyfriend, it's like you know that your boyfriend thinks your sister's hot. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm crazy, okay, so that's, like, what I think of. Okay, um, if you had to give up your arms or legs, which would it be? Definitely your legs, because people get, um, like, prosthetic legs all the time, so. And your arms, I don't even think they make those. And, like, prosthetic legs is something that's fairly common, so I would for sure keep my arms and give up my legs. Or just get a wheelchair and just, like, wheel everywhere, you know what I mean? But I would for sure be keeping my arms. And guys, I wore a white shirt to try to look less white, and I still look like a ghost, okay? Um, if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? I would want to know... I don't know. That's, like, kind of extremely difficult. Um... I would probably want to know what I was going to end up doing with, like, my career, like, where I was going to work. Like, if I was going to work in the city I live in, or if I was going to work in, like, a big city, or if I was going to end up moving, like, really far away. Like, I just would just want to know in the end, like, what my career side of my life is going to look like. That's what I would choose. Um... If you could see your death, would you want to see it? For sure, no. Because seriously, if you knew how you were going to die, you would do everything in your power to avoid any situations that like involved that. And then anything that in the slightest way had to do with how you're going to die would just be miserable. Because you would just be thinking about dying the whole time. Like, girl, I would not want to know how I was going to die. Because I would be just, I would turn into such a scared, miserable person. Like, no. Um, would you give five years of your life to extend the life of a grandparent? For sure, because, first off, we love our grandmas and grandpas because they're so freaking cute and nice and just, they're just the best people ever. And also, we're young, so we really have so many years left in our lives that, like, five years is, like, a tenth or a twentieth, whatever, like, such a fraction of how many years we have left and, like, Five years is, to some of them, like, you know, a decent amount of years. So, for sure, I would give five years of my life. Um, would you rather have a father that is in jail or not know who your father is? I would rather have a father in jail because if you don't know who your parent is, you're just going to constantly have that, like, wondering. Like, you're just always going to wonder. Just, like, even if you act like you don't care, like, deep down, you're always just going to, like, wonder who the hell is my dad. You know what I mean? I would rather know that he's in jail and a piece of shit than, like, sit there and just always wonder, like, I wonder if he's a family, I wonder if he's out there, I wonder if he's dead, I wonder if he's blah, blah, blah. you know what I mean? Personally, okay. Um, if you could be on a dating reality TV show, would you? Hell no. I think those are so corny. I'm sorry if you watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette or whatever and you love that, but I think those shows are so stupid. They make everybody look really superficial, so I would never want to either, first off, hella of those girls and guys, you know, don't get picked in the end, so then that's shitty. And even if you do get picked, the person that you're choosing to be with, TV has made them look like assholes. Like, to national television, anyone that owns a TV, like, the person that you are with has looked like an absolute asshole in probably 50 episodes. So... I don't know, I feel like it makes everybody look like a shitty person, so I for sure would not ever do that. Um, what is the first thing you look at when you look in the mirror? For sure, my fucking hair. Okay. Um, have you ever been attracted to a friend's parents? I feel like we all have that, like, one friend that we're like, your dad's so hot. But, like, off the top of my head, I can't really think of one. But, for sure, I mean... Even in, like, middle school, we always, you know what I mean? Like, everyone at least one time has been like, your dad's so hot, or your mom is so hot. Like, 
You know what I mean? Jake has a hot mom, just saying. Like, I hate him, and I don't know why. I just thought, okay. Because I know that he's going to watch this video, and not Jake. The love of my life is going to watch this video, and he's going to be so pissed because I just talked about Jake. So, obviously, I'm dating him again. Jake's in fucking jail, guys, okay? Jake is literally in jail right now. <sighs> anyway, I just said that because I know that his little sister watches my videos, so um, I was like, hey, your mom is hot. He's a hot mom. Anyway, for sure have been like, oh, your dad's hot to one of my friends, but it's not like I've ever been like, oh, my God, I want to bang your dad. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Um, what is something you always wanted to do but never have done it? Go to Paris. Literally, I've wanted to do that since I was like four or five, like literally, since I could say the word Paris, probably. Um, you are sick and have one year to live and find your soulmate. Would you tell them and be with them for the year or break up with them and save them the pain? I would tell them. I feel like that's shitty to like know that you're going to die and not tell anybody. Because I've had that happen to me with a relative before. Like, they had cancer and all this shit. And they just went to the hospital for, like, this simple surgery. And they ended up dying because... While they were there, because they had cancer and just, like, didn't tell anybody. Like... Girl, I could never be dying and just not tell anyone. Like, my soulmate, my family, regardless, I don't care. I couldn't just not tell people. That would eat me alive itself, not telling people. I couldn't. Um, what characteristic makes you attracted to the opposite sex? One physical and one personality. Physical, tall guys. And personality, you have to be funny. Like, I can have one conversation with you and tell if we, you know what I mean? Because I'll get bored really easily. Would you like to be famous for what? <laughs> I would love to be famous if I had like 5 million subscribers on YouTube. Like, then I would be satisfied with my life. Or if I was, like, in a movie. I feel like it would be so fun to film a movie. Like, you know when you see all the bloopers at the end and stuff? Like, I just feel like that would seriously be so fun. I don't know. Um, before making a telephone call, do you rehearse what you're going to say? Dude, I saw this question and I was like, oh my god. Other people do that because I do that every single phone call. Like, I get the worst anxiety. I hate talking on the phone. But I seriously sit there and rehearse what I'm going to say, at least like two possible outcomes of what they're going to say back, and then what I'm going to say back to that. Like, guys, yeah. I have the worst anxiety before I make a phone call. I really do sit there and rehearse how the whole conversation is about to go. Like, really. If you were able to live to the age of 90, would you rather return? No. Retain the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life. For sure retain the body because you can control your mind, but you can't control your body. So you could still have the mindset of a 30 year old, but you can't make your body still feel how it did when you were 30. So for sure keep my body because you can control your mind, but your body, girl, it's going to get old. You can't do anything about it. So if I could, I would for sure have a young body. Um, name three things you and your partner have in common. <sighs> I'm pissed at him right now, so no. And I know he's watching this. Do you save a percentage of your income? I always, not a percentage, but I always just like save a tiny part of my paycheck and put it in my savings account. Because I have like my checking account, which is, you know, my paycheck. Like that's what I spend. Go shopping, the gas, you know what I mean? And then I have my savings and it's like, if my paycheck's $100, I'll save like 25 of it in my savings. You know what I mean? Sometimes my paycheck will be $100 and I will save 10 of it. But it's just... Not a specific percentage, but I always make myself save some of it. As long as I save some of it, I'm like, no matter what, saving some of it is better than none of it. Because all the little some of it's add up. So I always save some, not a specific percentage, but I always save at least a little bit. Um, when something bad happens, how do you deal with it? Do you talk to someone, think about it alone, ignore slash suppress and distract yourself, or try to fix it immediately? Um, for sure try to fix it immediately when something bad happens. Like, for sure, that's me. I just try to fix it. Um, do you want to have children of your own? How many? Yeah, I really want to have, for sure, two. And then I wouldn't be mad if I had a third one, but, like, low-key, if I have a third kid, it was on accident. Like, I want to have two, but I wouldn't be mad if I had three. Okay, um, is there a profession you've always wanted to date? A doctor, firefighter, military, etc.? Um, 
I want to date, like, I guess who doesn't want to date a doctor because I want to date someone that has money that's, like, a stable job. You know what I mean? Not, I don't know. That sounds shitty, but you know what I mean? Like, no one wants to date a garbage man. Like, don't lie. No, girl. You want to date a doctor. For sure. Or a surgeon. Yeah, okay. Would you rather live in a world where you're never alone or always alone? Okay, it would lightweight drive me crazy to never be alone, but I could definitely, definitely not always be alone. So I would 100% be in a world where I'm never alone because I could not always be alone. That would be so miserable. I would go fucking crazy after like 12 hours. Not really. But like seriously, always alone or never alone? For sure never alone because that would just be so sad to always, always be alone. I could not do that. Mm -mm. Um, when was the last time you cried? Why? I cried over 13 Reasons Why the other day. Guys, I'm watching that show and I'm like... Ugh. I don't know. I keep getting to like a boring episode and then like stop watching it and then keep watching it like two days later. But like... I did cry over that the other day. That was yes... Or the day before yesterday. Um... Do you have songs to avoid because they make you feel too much? Dude, for sure. I feel like every girl has, like, a couple songs that, like, you hear them. And it's crazy because it's just, like, boom, makes you think of something or someone, like, immediately. So I have, like, two or three songs that it's, like, I hear it and it reminds me of someone. And I'm just, like, change this. I can't listen to the song. I hate this song. Or, like, no. So, um, yeah, to be honest. If you could be an expert in any field, which would you choose? Dental stuff because there's so much to it. No one realizes there's so much to it. And if I could be an expert in it, like just like that for sure, that would make college so easy. Wouldn't have to study, it would just be, I would already know everything. I would be an expert. And I think that would be really fun for just like one day to be that person in class that literally knows everything. For sure, dental stuff because then I would just be set for the rest of my life. Use one emoji to describe your ex. The puking one. I'm not going through effort. Mm -mm. Well, actually, okay, I feel like now I'm a shitty YouTuber if I don't pick an emoji. Guys, I don't know, though. Like this one. Like this mad devil, because I just did stupid hood rat shit with him that was like the little devil horns, but like a sad face, because now I realize it was stupid. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. This question's weird. It's, what is something you believe your parents dislike about you? Um... I don't like this question. Probably that I cuss a lot. Like, guys, like, you know how I cuss in my videos, and some people are like, oh my god, you cuss so much, you have little girls watching you. But, like, guys, I cuss way more in real life. Like, I filter the shh. Okay. I filter the crap out of myself while I'm filming. Like, I try to. Like, that's probably something that they don't like, is that I seriously cuss a lot. Because it's just me. I don't hide it. Like, I'm not fake. Like, I just, I really do cuss a lot, so. Okay. Have people pointed out your biggest insecurity? And then this is, it goes with it. And this is the last question. Did you generate it yourself, or was it something you developed over time based off of other people's comments? Um, my biggest insecurity is, like, something on my stomach. And it's a really weird thing that no one would think could be an insecurity but it literally has always been my biggest insecurity since like fifth grade and it was something that was like a slight I'm not talking about it because I freaking hate it and I don't want you guys to know my biggest insecurity and then have a field day in the comments about it so anyway it was something that I kind of like noticed that I didn't like about myself and then over time in the summer when I would wear bathing suits and stuff and like you know people would like you know, in middle school, when you're just little mean bitches, like, really? Like, oh my god, and I would just be like, <laughs> so, yeah, it was something that I kind of just didn't like about myself, but then, like, all these little girls would make comments about it, when, I mean, when I was a little girl, too, and then it just, like, generated it and made it way worse, but I did kind of notice it myself. Okay, I'm done. This video, guys, this video had 30 questions, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this one really, really short. I got some things in here, like I wrote down all these Tumblr questions, and guys, some of these have 150 questions in them, so I'm probably going to like break these down into little sections and make them into multiple, because I, I just talk too much, it's like just a fact, I talk too much, so, 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Sorry that this isn't, like, extremely edited because, um... Like, if you are watching this the day I uploaded it, I just filmed this video today. So, I have to edit it kind of quickly and... I don't know. Sorry. It was long still. I tried, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because it makes me really happy and I'm back to uploading hella. So, and leave requests down below because I need them for, especially for days like this where I'm like, shit, I don't have anything pre-filmed and I need to film a video. I could just look in the comments like, and get an idea, like, boom. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for another Tumblr Questions videos, but these are literally my favorite videos to film. Tumblr Questions, they're my favorite. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and I love you all so much. Bye.